Hey hey everyone, Kegia here and welcome back to another episode where I try to do something interesting as a major power and today's nation is gonna be none other than Germany. Obviously I'm gonna be playing on Elite difficulty just because I wanna try something out and my goal for this run is gonna be to form the European Union as a democratic Germany obviously but I'm not gonna start off with the civil war instantly, instead what I'm gonna do is that like you know I legitimately have uh, no idea how I'm gonna annex the Benelux which are required to form the EU I'm gonna do my economy tree first, like you know, maybe toward the resource slot first, and maybe do some army ex uh, focuses. Then I'm gonna uh, try to annex Belgium and the um, Netherlands. Hopefully, it pans out great. If it does not, then I'm, I'm I kind of am cooked because I would be fighting the Allies or ill prepared. As for production, I'm gonna delete straight up everything. I don't need any of these, not even airplanes. I'm gonna put 15 on guns. 5 on support equipment and 5 on artillery and uh, I mean 3, yeah, and three on motor right for now. As you can see my 30% uh, research speed would hurts a lot but we can fix that by, by going down our electronic engineering tree. Obviously we also suffer from uh, efficiency cap uh, minus 30% so we'll be, we will be going with concentrated just to recover a bit. As for our research, we would like to get some artillery without spending any of our political power and some very important military police because we will be holding foreign land and we kinda need to garrison it. Also, I forgot, I forgot to tell you guys that I am also playing on non-historical to have a bit of a challenge since usually when you play as a major power on non-historical, the majority of uh, the like you know major powers try to go into an alternative path and aim to like you know hamper you down. Okay, now that I have 150 political power, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go towards the Dutch East Indies and justify on three of their provinces for 5% world tension and I'm gonna do the same for Belgium for 7 world tension if I'm not wrong as long as you are under 25% both the UK and France won't guarantee them and with my next batch of political power what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna hire a certain person you may be wondering who's that guy it's gonna be none other than the backroom backstabber right here because he reduces the justification time hold on let me sh yeah, the backroom backstabber. I'm gonna hire him because he reduces the justification time. And you be one, you may be wondering, what the fuck am I doing? I'm trying to annex Belgium, the Dutch, and Luxembourg, which are territories required to form the European Union. And since you will be playing as a democratic nation, there's no way in hell you're gonna end up fighting against Belgium and Luxembourg. Like you know, maybe if you were going down the Kaiser path, then sure, but not uh, as a democratic Germany. Trust me. I am kind of surviving, even though, like, you know, I'm handicapped by, like, 30%. As you can see him here, bro, uh, I've assigned 20 factories to uh, guns production, and I'm only making 40. Okay, not gonna lie, I'm not interested in getting a Norwegian puppet. So, yeah, they can piss off for now. Also, I'm gonna assign 10 factories to my support equipment. Uh, the research malice does not really matter because Germany can get a six, uh, sixth resource slot from this, which is actually very powerful. If you go with democratic, there is. Okay, let's get our fifth resource slot from this. Uh, Shelly and fascists on our support. No, I don't vibe with fascists, honestly. Also, Denmark, I don't need your help. I would like to hire backroom backstabber. Yeah, like I was saying, what is the plan, friend? The plan is very simple. When these two justifications are done, I'm gonna declare on the Netherlands and Belgium. Then I'm gonna start justifying on Lex Luxembourg. But I'm not gonna cap neither of neither of the two. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to time my capitulation of all three nations so that I can annex them in uh, like you know two days or three days before they can join the allies and stuff and we already know what's gonna happen next Italy is gonna turn toward communism France is gonna become communist as well and I'm gonna get my ass handed to me hey hey everyone shit tier production here and I'm back to tell you that my mic muted itself while I was recording the lateral half of this video Sadly, like, you know, ah, it's the price I pay for having such a sh shitty ass mic. What I said during the video is that the reason why you have such a hard time against Germany, especially when you're at war with them in the early run and stuff, 
is mainly because they have a shit ton of goddamn cast and I'm not even capping like 600 units of airplanes that you can use as cast is not a joke and also I'm declaring on the Netherlands and Belgium that's when it hit me bro I'm not the only nation that's generating your attention in the world so hey we had 25% and the UK guaranteed Luxembourg so I said fuck it I'm gonna run a roll of the ball I'm gonna just find Luxembourg and it's both Belgium and Netherlands quickly without even I like you know I had to abandon all of my original plans and I'm just gonna show you how I quickly ten went in and whooped the ass of the AI since like you know they really did not stand a chance even when I was handicapped with all of the lack of equipment and stuff I still managed to whoop their asses that's about it really Uh, that's when it happened I needed to prepare myself to go to war against the United Kingdom i.e. they were guaranteeing Luxembourg and I just planned my naval invasion into a hole also I made sure to garrison my front line against the French because I was not 100% certain if they would join the Allies or not and I would pr obviously I would prefer if they did not since I was not ready to go to war like you know I could knowing how I could beat both France and the UK at the same time just my only goal throughout this entire war was just to annex Luxembourg. That's that's about it. Later on in the peace deal, I would trade up just a white piece with the UK. I legitimately did not take any land from them. I did not puppet anything. I only released Northern Ireland and gave it back to Ireland, obviously. And I I proceeded to prepare myself now to trigger my civil war. And as soon as it started, I made sure to beeline toward the front with Czechoslovakia to cut them in half. I cleaned up the southern pocket in Bavaria and then I made the southern thrust toward whatever was left from Eastern Germany. And uh, that's... That's about it, I instantly made them capitulate, apparently Chile decided to join in on the fun and join the Axis, which is actually wild, but I did not bother taking any land there because I had no, ins no interest in South America, though I did re-release that uh, baby in, in that random island just for, funs and for fun and giggles. Then I, the issue is that like, you know, uh, I just realized that France cannot turn toward communism. Like, if you go down the monarchist route, you can exile all the commies toward France, which is something that I was gambling on, but sadly the democratic path does not have that, so I had to justify on them while I was non-aligned, went in, kept in, like, you know, pushing towards France after you have the Benelux is actually easy, even though I did not have full air superiority, it was more than enough, I had decent divisions, and I actually was prepared to rush toward their weaker fronts, and as soon as France fell, I made sure to beeline toward Denmark and take their whatever left was left of them before the peace deal triggered. Obviously, I annexed everything, mainly because it's a part of the European Union and stuff, I did not care about it much. Then I went against Italy, uh, I justified on them before turning democratic by the way, it was like the last thing I did as a non-aligned nation. And I beeline told them, like I attacked them from both the north and the south, rather from the center. and. Apparently, Communist Italy has cores on Libya and Ethiopia, so making them cap was a bit tough. Like, you know, I took the entirety of Italy and they did not capitulate, which brought in the Soviet Union. Like, it gave them, it gave them enough time to join the Soviet faction. So, hey, I was like, man, what, what the fuck, this, this kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. But it was okay, because I just remembered something. Uh, the requirements to form the European Union, you don't need to 
own the territory you just need to control it so i managed to form the eu even though i still had had yet to trigger my peace deal with the soviet union and stuff from here on i just realized that my mic was not working so yeah, you'll be hearing my normal commentary from now on sorry for the inconvenience also if you have anything to criticize about the editing please inform me in the video since i'm i switched to to davinci resolve it's uh, like you know an editing software Usually, yeah, previously i was using CapCut, even though it's very simple it does not allow you to do a lot of things and i want to expand the the things that I can can do in my videos and stuff, and that's about it, guys. Poland, the communist nation, wants to join my faction. Okay, welcome, buddy. I'm not gonna say no. What was I yapping about, anyways? Oh, yeah, I wanted to build a shit ton of goddamn mills for my glorious air force. Hey man, it's kind of cringe. It's 1940 and I don't have a lot of fighters. Only 2k men. I I have fallen off. Okay, I guess it's about time that I went ham against the Soviet Union. So yeah, I'm gonna call in Poland and Romania. That's about it. I should have green bubbles any everywhere. Oh, let's go. Let's the front widened apparently because Poland invited them into my faction. So yeah, man, I'm gonna take an advantage of that, advantage of that, and call him into the party if you catch my drift. Also, I currently I'm seeing an opportunity to create a small pocket that I'm gonna take advantage of. The United Kingdom in exerts influence in Greece. I don't care, little bro. And we trapped a small amount of divisions in the center. What's the current war support of the Soviet Union? It's only seven, uh, like you know, seventy percent. The Soviet Union lost one point three million men, and I lost to them six hundred k. Hey, it is what it is. The Commonwealth of Socialist Republics rebirth, huh? Oh, okay, Poland, you do you. Apparently Poland has a war goal against themselves. And the run is almost over, so I don't even need to research anymore. Like, since I got my sixth research slot, I really did not need to care about it anymore. The Soviets are currently at 27% capitulation score. And as soon as I reach toward the, like, you know, past the Euro, the Soviet will cap. Uh, the game froze, I think. Ah, finally, the peace deal triggered. I'm gonna annex the entirety of Italy since they are my core territories. And you take this last province. So yeah, man, I swear I tried my best to make some clean borders, but Romania was not having it at all. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what... The, rather, I just got the achievement for defeating the Soviet Union without taking Stalingrad, which is weird. I have no idea how that works out. <laughs> But yeah, like I said, I swear to God, I tried my best to make some clean ass borders, but Romania was not having it, bro. Also, I only gave these territories that uh, were cause of, uh, of like, you know, Poland. I just gave them their cause back, that's all. The rest was not there, so I did not give it to them, which, like, this shit looks sweet as hell, funky as hell, but hey, not for me to complain. I currently am at peace, I re achieved my European dream, and I, like, you know, am being chilling, like, you know. As you can see it's right here, in the non-resistance map mode, you can see where I have cores and where I don't. So yeah, hey, overall, this experience was actually based. Even with the minus 30% uh, factory cap type of shit, I still managed to survive somehow. Which is goated as hell, I even got a massive Russian puppet. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed today's run, this has been Kaguya, if you're new to the channel make sure to like and subscribe, and have a wonderful day or evening, and goodbye, bye bye, take care, much love. Bye, have a beautiful time.